Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be diving deep into how to start a coaching business with zero time. By the way, subscribe to my channel if you love videos just like this, because we release new ones every single week. What's up, everybody? My name is Armin Chaffee, and I built a multi six figure life coaching business. And now I spend my time helping other coaches scale their companies and their coaching online as well. Now, if you've ever been in a situation where maybe right now you've been thinking for a long time, I want to start my coaching business, I want to start something, I really want to help people, I really know what my niche is, I know what I would sell, I really want to start this thing, but I got no time. I can't find the time. Armin, where? Where do I start? How do I start? Where am I going to find the time? I have a job. I have kids. I have maybe I have two things I'm doing. Maybe I have another business right now and I want to transition. Well, if that's the case, this, this video is for you, okay? I'm going to talk about how to actually start your coaching business. Even if you have zero time, if you have no time to put into it, we're going to talk about the first thing we got to do, okay? First thing we got to do. Before we talk about time allocation, which is where, where are you going to find the time for this? We got to understand why you need to find the time. Now, why you need to find the time? Now, in other words, what I really want to say is, what is your end goal? Okay, what do you want? Now, here's the reason why I'm talking about this first before I talk about, you know, um, how to actually start the business even if you have no time. Because anyone can figure anything out when they know why. Okay, I read somewhere a long time ago, if your why is big enough, the how doesn't matter. You'll figure it out. And so that's why the first thing we really got to talk about is, well, why do you want to start a coaching business? What's so great about a coaching business that you want to start one that you even have no time to start? And so let me remind you of some of the reasons. I mean, I've been coaching for 40 years now, and I help hundreds of coaches start their businesses and scale them. Um, and we have a program called Speaking of Clients where you actually do that scale the business online. Well, you got to remind yourself, like, what do I want? Like, why do I even want to start a coaching business? First of all, if you want to make a lot more money than what you're making now by sharing coaching and advice and expertise with others, by selling a program where someone can learn something from you and you can help them. Okay. Which also comes with the second reason why you might want to start a coaching business and why you need to find the time for it. It's because the impact, the feeling, nothing replaces the feeling of seeing a person or client of yours, their whole life changed because they worked with you. Okay. Another reason, I mean, the lifestyle, you know, I'm doing pretty good myself. I get to travel whenever I want. <laughs> you know, I have total time freedom, total financial freedom. I've never, I don't remember the last time I didn't have money to buy something from. And it's all from the, the, the fruits of my labor as a coach, helping people out. So, I mean, if that's something you crave in your life, you really want total freedom in your life, then building a coaching business is going to get you that. So you, you got to really sit down. I mean, either during this video or after this video, you got to sit down and ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I even, why, is, why do I even have a goal or a desire to start a coaching business that I'm wondering how to find the time about? Because if you can establish a strong, definite reason, a goal, and multiple reasons why you want to do this, then we could talk about how to do it with no time, which I'm going to talk about. Okay, I'm going to give you a little system here. But you really got to get clear with this. Because if you don't know why, what you want out of starting a coaching business, what does starting a coaching business do for you? If you don't know that, then what I'm about to show you doesn't matter. I'm about to show you a system on how to actually get the time to do this. But it doesn't matter because you won't find the motivation, the inspiration. You won't find the reason to do it. Does that make sense, guys? So as you're watching, you've got to ask yourself, why do I want to, you know, what, why, do I, why do I need to find time to start this business? What do I want? What do I want from? What's my goals? Goal setting is the first step to everything. Napoleon Hill, I'm a student, I'm a student of thinking grow rich. The first step to all achievement in life is a definite purpose. Deciding what you want is desire. Desire is a starting point of all achievement in life. That's why we gotta ask ourselves, what do we want? Why do we want to do this business? Right? What is it gonna get us? Now, let's say you know, you're like Armin, I know, I know, I hate what I do right now. Maybe I want to make more money. Maybe I want to help people. I feel like I'm not my potential's underutilized. <laughs> Maybe you're like, I want the lifestyle. Whatever it is, it's fine. Well, here's how you're going to start a business, coaching business, with absolutely no time, okay? The first thing we got to understand, let's go over this. Number two, what we need to understand is that it's not a matter of not having time, okay? So let me talk about this. It's not a matter 
of not having time. But more so, okay, more so what is taking up your time. Okay. Let me explain. A lot of people say, I don't got time. I don't got time to do this. I don't got time to do that. I don't got time to work out. I don't got time to start this business. I don't got time to do this. I have no time. Let me ask you this. Are you an alien? Because as far as I'm concerned, every human on this planet has the exact amount of time as everyone else. Every person, you, Oprah, the president of the United States, Putin, everyone has 24 hours a day. So is it that you don't have time? No, no, no. Everybody has time. It's more so the matter. It's not the matter of not having time. It is more so the matter what is taking your time. Where is all that time that you have just like everybody else going? That's the question. And so you got to really do a deep dive in your daily life, your weekly life, your monthly life. This is where the secret of starting a business, a coaching business with no time comes from. You got to ask yourself, what am I giving my time to? Where, where is my time going that I have none left for starting a coaching business at the end of every day? And so for, you, to, for me to help you with this, I'm going to actually show you a system. Um, I'm going to tell you how I came up with this system. It's actually interesting. I actually teach this system. It's called the prioritization system, uh, the process of it. Um, uh, in my seminars, my, my leadership trainings, um, when I used to do hundreds of people around the world, uh, people would come out and I would show them how to prioritize you know, their goals in life and what to put their time into. Now, actually, funny, funny, a funny story how I came up with this. Um, I was with uh, my ex-girlfriend, okay? And we we're sitting down at a coffee shop one day and I, was, I, I dedicated that day to helping her with her business. She was a, an artist. And so she's like, Armin, I have no time. You know, I have, I have two kids. I, you know, I'm working and I'm doing paintings and stuff for people to make money. And I'm in this business, I'm in this, I'm in this. And I have no time to focus on starting my actual business that I want to make money with. And I'm like, well, why do you want it? Well, obviously, because I'll help my kids more. I'll be able to upgrade my lifestyle. So there's a lot of bills I got to pay off. And what I'm doing right now is I'm working to make money. So that's why. See, we first talked about why. What do you want? Well, I want to earn this much money a month so I can take care of my kids myself, put them in private school. I'm like, okay, great. No problem. Okay, awesome. So we know why. So we have the motivation down. Okay, well, I asked, this, I asked her this. I said, what's your time going into right now? And we went through the system. So I'll show you what the system is. Number one, okay, the first thing we did Okay, in fact, yeah, the first thing we did is we, and this is what I want you to do, made a list, make a list of all major, okay, not tiny things, major things that are taking up your time right now, okay? Make a list of all major things happening in your life. Example, you have a job. That takes eight hours of your day over five days a week. That's 40 hours of your life. That's a major thing. So you put job, okay? If it's your family, simply, you're going to put down family because you know you spend at least five hours a day cooking, cleaning, whatever. If you're a mom, if you're a dad, you know, whatever it is. So you put that down. So I sat down with her and we made a list of these things. She put family. She put, she had, she didn't have a job. So she had family. She had her um, freelance business for paintings. Then she had a network marketing company she had done. So I'll give you an example for her. Um, so this was, let me give you an example. Okay, example. So for her, I'm just giving you an example. She had, for example, one, she had her, uh, her family, so her kids. Okay. Then she had her paintings, painting business. Okay. And then she had her network marketing company. Um, and then she had another side business, an online thing she was doing. Something like that. It was something vaguely. This is years ago. So. That's what she put it. I'm like, okay, great. So these are all the major things taking up your time. Okay. Now what I want you to do, and this is the next part, you guys. You guys ready? You can do this with me if you want. So this is what I did with her. And by the way, by the time we were done, that next month, she went past um, how much she wanted to make. She made like twice the income and, and some. So it really worked well because she got focused on what she needs to focus on, what she needs to put her time into. Second thing is next to them, okay, next to each thing, Ballpark, it's better if you know the exact numbers, like tracking your time. But if you don't, at least ballpark next to each, okay, um, put how much time each is taking from you. Now, on a weekly basis is best. That's what I did with her. So I put, okay, next to this, for example, she put, okay, she goes next to family. She said at least 40% of her week. 
we did percentages, right? So we're like, how many hours? Da, 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 da. I broke it down, 168 hours. That's 100%, right? So I'm like, mine is your sleep. That's obvious. Oh, and she had personal here too, but that's something you should put. Honestly, I wouldn't put personal because that's not a thing you give to time to. Your whole life, this whole list is personal. It's you. It's for your life, right? So I don't put that as a thing unless you literally block off five hours a day for like meditations or, <laughs> but, but here's the thing, guys. If you're not making lots of money and you're not taking care of all your financial needs, you shouldn't be having any personal time. I'm not saying to go burn yourself out. I'm saying you'll feel a lot better taking care of your problems in life first before you start putting out time to go vacation every week. You know, like, no. So there's things that your time's taking. There's a reason why you can't start a coaching business because you have no time because your time's going all over the place. And the only reason why you wouldn't want to start a coaching business, a part of the impact and everything is to make more money, right? So, so you got to really get focused here. So with her, we broke it down 168 hours divided minus the eight hours a day you sleep. And then from that time left, we broke it into like how many hours a day. So I did the calculations. That's what you would need to do. I'm not going to do it here. So you broke down the hours and we put percentages on them. 40% I rounded was about her family. Her paintings were about, I think it was like 15% of her time. It's about 55%. Network marketing, she was spending 25% of her time traveling to go to events and recruiting people and messaging people. So now we're at 55. Now we're at uh, 55, 65 uh, 70, 80%, and then I think the online thing was another 20%. Okay, so I think that's about right, yeah, 40, yeah, exactly. So, right, 40, 60, um, 85, and then, yeah, 100%. So we broke down her week. Now, the third thing we did after I saw this, by the way, just at this step alone, she was looking at it like, wow, like, I've never seen my, what's happening in my weekly life. This is so such a breakthrough. I'm like, yeah, 100%. Self, guys, the key to, like, everything in your life is self-awareness. Now, we sat down and we broke down all the major things taking her time, major things. We, we, and by the way, she started with like smaller things. I'm like, no, 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 just categorize that into this, you know? So do that, like, like round up until it's just a bit one big thing that's happening. Now, don't make it like two or three big things. Like try to break it down to projects essentially, okay? Um, that are different than each other. So like, for example, she might have be doing three things inside of her network marketing business, but that's all network marketing business. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So once we did that, the third step, this is where the breakthroughs happen. Okay, once she saw that, now she was gonna rate, so this is what you gotta do, you gotta rate from one to 10, the relevance, or essentially how much that thing um, is relevant to helping her, or well, you, <laughs> you achieve your goal, okay, achieve, Goal. What goal are we talking about? This goal. Okay, that's why we start with this. Because you got to know why you're doing all this stuff, guys. So now we rate from 1 to 10 next to each thing. Well, okay, out of 1 to 10, 1 being like nothing at all, and 10 being like, this is like literally what I have to focus on to get this goal. Whatever this monthly income goal is, maybe the quality of your life goal, maybe a debt you want to pay, whatever it is. You rate it from 1 to 10, relevance to how much is it helping you achieve your goal. So we did it with her, right? We sat down, we're like, all right. So I'm like, next to your family, obviously it's a 10. Like, we're not going to ever, like, sacrifice, right? We're not going to ever sacrifice um, your family time. Like, it's not, that's not a thing. I mean, first of all, if you have kids, that's, she had kids. That we don't, that's obviously our goal is to have a good life with the kids. So that's a 10, you don't touch that. The 40% she spends, you don't take time for, away from that, okay? Now, sometimes you got to sacrifice. Some of you are listening, like, yeah, but like, it's okay to not watch a movie every night with your kids to go and achieve this goal so you can spend more time with them later. So that's fine. But in her case, I said, look, you already spend the least amount of time possible, but you still spend enough time with them to, to take care of them, shower them. They're young. They're like three years old at the time. Um, so that's fine. But it depends on your family situation. Like, for example, if you do spend 40% of your time with your family personally, and it's literally just sitting around and talking, get yeah, 100%. That's not a level 10. Because if your goal is to make a certain amount of money or to pay off something or to start something and like get somewhere... And talking to your family every night around the dinner table is, for three hours is unnecessary? Yes. Okay, that's not a 10 relevance score. For you, that should be like a two. Like, you don't need to talk to your family for three hours every night. You get what I'm saying, guys? This really depends on you. You've got to make sure you're, you're honest with yourself when you do this. So for her, she had to take care of her kids. They're really young, okay? They're still like uh, toddlers, yeah? So it was a 10. I'm not going to touch that. Next thing, we're like, okay, out of 10, one out of 10, how much is your paintings helping you achieve your goal? Selling paintings. And now, here's the funny part. That's how she was making the most amount of money from doing paintings. Watch this. So she goes, well, it's a 10. I go, how's that? She goes, well, my goal is to build a creative arts business. That, that was her goal. Her goal was not to be a network marketing online. 
She was just doing that to make money to fund the painting business. Get this, watch, look how aware we're becoming. Well, her goal, this is so important, guys, the first thing, her goal was, I want to build a very large creative arts business. I want to help people. I want to teach them art. I want to focus on paintings and art. That's what I love. And so, obviously, I asked the question, like, why are you doing the other stuff? And we'll get to that. So, 10 out of 10 relevant score to helping her achieve what her, what her goals in life is. Now, the network marketing, I said, well, why are you doing this? She goes, honestly, it's just a good opportunity. It just sounds nice. It's like, it's like you see a good deal on Black Friday, so you just buy it. It's, you don't really need it. That's literally how she talked to me about this network marketing business. She goes, the relevant score is like a four. I go, interesting. Can you guys already see what's interesting over there, by the way? Look at the time difference that she's allocating time to. Now watch this online. Hmm. I'm like, what's the relevant score? Are you doing this? It's like, honestly, Armin, it just sounds like a good idea. Maybe you can make some quick money. That's probably like a three. It doesn't even matter. And the only reason I'm justifying spending time on it is because I think eventually it'll help me fund my, my pr primary goal, which is to make money from getting myself out there as an artist, okay? Now, it's funny because you're watching this as a person. You're like, I want to start a coaching business. Okay, well, if that's the goal and you do this and you realize that a lot of your time is going into things that don't get you to become a coach and successful, run a successful business, now, the fourth step, well, it's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to write it down for you anyways. Fourth step. is you must eliminate the low relevant things, okay? You have to, you have to eliminate. Guys, there's no way around this. Remember, everyone has the same 24 hours. You're not gonna buy more time. It's not gonna come out of thin air one day. So that means you got to reallocate, you got to repurpose that time from somewhere else that doesn't matter into something that matters, which is your goal, which is to start a coaching business. You guys following what I'm saying? Now look, with her, I was sitting down, I'm like, okay. So let me get this straight. You spend 45% of your time in two things that have a less than half relevant score towards your goal. Like it's not relevant to what you're doing. Or it's just indirect or it's just not the most productive thing. Productivity score, for example. She goes, yeah, you're right. And I don't even have to say, she goes, oh my God, you're so right. So she was spending whatever, six to 12 hours or uh, 15 hours a week on it, or what, 20 hours a week. But her painting, the thing she wants to build was getting only five or seven hours. And I'm like, you know what's funny? You make more money doing this. She would sell like a, a painting or something for 500 bucks, but she was making a few hundred dollars from her network marketing and online stuff. I'm like, it makes no sense to me. And that's when it hit her. She's like, damn, I have the time to start my business and grow it. I'm just letting things that aren't relevant Take my time. And she sat there. I didn't even have to do the last part. She's like, I'm like, well, you know what to do. She goes, yeah. I'm like, well, you're going to have to let it go. I mean, look, if you're watching this, you go, Armin, I get it, but I already committed to my friends about this, or I already committed to this. I have commitment, commitment, commitment. My friends listening, please hear me when I say this. Your only commitment first is to yourself. If you're going to sit here now and tell me on the video after everything I'm showing you, oh, well, there's commitments you have on other things that, yeah, the relevance score is low, but I feel bad leaving. Well, then you should feel worse to hurt your future to yourself just because you're not willing to cut some things off that don't matter. Because what, someone's going to be upset? If you got people that are going to be upset about you prioritizing the things that matter to you in life, they shouldn't be in your life anyways. So if you're sitting here like, Armin, I get it. Like, okay, maybe some of you are getting some breakthroughs right now. I hope you're doing this exercise because this is huge, okay? People pay for this stuff in my, in my coaching programs, and I want to give it to you for free because I get, you know, obviously I run a coaching program where I help coaches build their business. And you know how many times I get this whole, like, I don't have time to start. Well, I'm like, this is an easy fix. Prioritize. Prioritize. Everyone has time. But first, you got to know, why do I need to find the time? Well, that's why. Okay, now you understand why we do this. Then we go, okay, what's taking my time? And we start playing the chess pieces differently. We go, okay, well, okay, all these things are taking my time. I get it. My portion of time per week is going into these things. But hey, let me, let me ask something. Hold on, hold on. If I'm doing 10% of my time into the coaching stuff to learn about it, and that's what's going to make me the most money. But some of you, you might not have current income from the coaching. No problem. But you could. Right? You could start making 10, 20, 30, 50K a month like we teach in our, in our program. So is that something important to you? Would you want to do that? Whereas maybe the job you have, you go, I can't quit the job. I'm not saying quit the job, but you got to understand, if it's a part of the distraction, you might have to take a leap of faith here. And if you're not willing to do that, you won't be willing. You won't be able to have a business that's successful. You got to be willing to make some sacrifices, guys. It's not really a sacrifice if it's something that has a low relevance score to your goal. 
It's really getting it out of the way. You're sacrificing your goal by giving your time to things that don't matter. Look at it that way. By not cutting out the things that don't matter in your life to find the time to do the things that do matter, you think, well, I'm not sacrificing anything. Yes, you are. You're sacrificing your dream. In the absence of action, you are sacrificing what could have happened with action. There is a law of compensation for everything. For everything you give, you take. For what you take, you give. If you're willing to give time to things that are not relevant to your end goal in life or building a coaching business, you got to take it from somewhere. Where are you taking it from? Your dream. So if you're worried about what someone's going to think if you cut them out of your life or some projects that you cut out of, well, what are they going to think about me? Well, forget about that for a moment. Why don't we go into the future 10 years? Let's talk to your future self and see what they'll think about you when you tell them, I'm not willing to give you the time to build your future to yourself. Let's see what you would say to yourself if you were to come back from the future and say, hey, do you not love me? Are these other people or projects more important than me, yourself, your future? Well, guys, I got to be honest with you. If you go through all this and you still ain't willing to eliminate the low relevant things in your life, I'm just going to tell you how it is. You won't make it. There's no way around this. What are you going to do? Buy time? You're going to get time from someone? What are you going to do? And you know what's funny? Some people wait until it happens to them. You lose your job. Right? You lose something in the project. You fail at it. Oh, my God. And now you're like, but see, the problem is you lost the opportunity to build faith in yourself by doing it because you want to. Now you're waiting for something or life to force you to do the thing you want to do. It, it makes no sense. So now you're starting with a fear state instead of a faith state. It makes no sense, guys. So I did this with her, by the way. And, you know, at the time, I don't want to say any numbers out of respect, but she wasn't making a lot of money a month. What she did right away after this session, she went out and she cut off the network marketing and the online. And look, she did got some, some friction. Friends are like, we thought you committed. As you know, a lot of you, if you know network marketers, you know, they're like very cultural, okay? Grab you in, okay? I've, I've been in them. So, and it's great. I had a great experience, but I'm saying like, I get, I get how motivated they are. She got a lot of pushback. Like, I can't believe you're quitting on side. She goes, listen, my kids matter more. A part of her goal was to take care of her kids. Because my kids matter more. I can't be driving three hours a, a week or every other day to an event. I just can't. I'm sorry. And some of them burned a bridge with her. Others are smart enough to keep her around. Because you know what happened, guys? The next month, she went out, get this, and she sold dozens of five, $600 paintings. Because she had the time now to make them. Not only did she make more money, but she had the money to take care of her kids. She like, took them out and bought them a bunch of stuff that she couldn't before. You know, what's ha you know what's even greater, guys? At that time when I was with her, I saw how happy she was. She was clear. Some of you are suffering from lack of clarity because your, time's been, your mind's being split in different ways. But you know how clear she looked? I'm like, I'm so happy for you. In a few, in a few months, just from learning how to prioritize. To prioritize where your time goes. Now, the, pretty much, you got to do this. You got to sit down and be like, where's my time going? How much time is it going to? Is it going to each? How relevant is this to help me in my goal? And you got to make the hard, the hard part, which is decisions. It should feel easy because it's what you want. You got to make the decisions, eliminate stuff. Guess what? Now, watch this. How do you start a coaching business with no time? Well, you make the time. Moral of the story here is everyone has time. You just got to know where it's going and repurpose it. That's why we prioritize what matters for our time to go into. So now, if you eliminate 45% of the two things out of your life that are taking all your time that don't matter... Guess what? Out of 100 hours, you got 45 hours a week. Like Houdini. Magic. You got some time now. Go and start your business. Now, let's say you do this, guys, and you free up some time. And you're watching this video. Or you come back. Or you're like, man, what do I do now? Guess what? I got an answer for you. You can book a call. If you free up some time and this really helps you out, you go, you know what, Armin, make some sense. I can make some time. This is important to me. Then I want you to book a call. I'm going to invite you to book a call. Use the link at the end of this video or in the, with the link provided with this video on the page. And go ahead and book a call in my office. And you know what we'll do, guys? Here's what we'll do. We're going to get on the phone with you. We're going to ask you some questions. We're going to figure out if it's a fit for us to work with you to help you scale and start, start and grow your own coaching business, high-ticket online coaching business, so you can start profiting from your passion of helping others. Turn your passion for helping other people and what you love to do into a profitable coaching business. And if it seems like it's a good fit, we're going to explain to you what we do and you can decide to be a part of it or not, okay? So if you're watching this and you're like, you know, I finally want to start. Enough's enough. And you're anything like my ex-girlfriend was sitting there. She's like, 
I just got to fix this now. If you're in that place, go ahead and do this and go ahead and book a call and we'll speak to you, okay? I hope this was super valuable. I get a lot of objections around this in the coaching world. Just, I don't have time, I don't have time. No, you got time. You just don't have priorities. You're not straight with what you want in life. And so I hope this was really helpful. I'm excited. Me and my team are super excited to speak with you. And I do hope I see you in one of our weekly live coaching calls in SGC so I can start working with you. When you get on, by the way, say, hey, Armin, I just joined. I'd love to say hi to you and uh, kind of see where your story was and how you got to be in our program. So hope this was helpful. Don't forget to book a call. And if you like content like this, subscribe. We release new videos every week. And until I see you in the next video, go ahead and make the rest of your day the best of your day.